Hey everybody, this is Rolls the Gamer. Welcome to episode 7 of the Thousand Arms playthrough. And we're going back here to meet up with an old friend. Well, he's our friend from a few parts ago. But yes, we're now permanently adding Musa to our party. And here it comes. Heard what happened to Jobble. Word travels fast when you're slightly to the west, I assume. They were attacked. I'm going to forgive them. I'll go with you. My strength is out of 100 men. Damn, mice, that's cold. <laughs> I was just kidding. Let's go. Alright. And spoiler alert, this is uh, just about the best party you can assemble right here. I mean, Sedina has some... Uh, a little bit of weakness to her, like her defense isn't that high. But Mice and Musa are definitely your uh, your first two frontline characters. Well, maybe maybe Weena, a character that we'll meet later in the game. I mean, oops, spoiler. Give him Wind and Barrier. He doesn't have Heal though, so that's I guess a slight issue at most. But, uh, yeah. Recording a little later in the day. I'm going to work an hour late today. From, like, the 11 to 8 night shift instead of um, 10 to 7. It feels weird. I should be in my car by now on the way there, but here I am sitting in front of a computer with a microphone. But let's check back in with the dark party here. Oh, so Schmidt made it there safe. Well, at least we have a healthy rival for the rest of the game, I assume. Yes. I know I, uh... Let me get a little comfortable here. I know I said it before, but... I really do like the voice acting in this game. And, uh, what may or may not be a surprise to you, I would often be surfing my phone during these audio segments because you'll know when to press the button when the sentence is over. So, forgive me if it lingers a little bit. That's a kind of a thing I keep up in the game. I know I talked in the previous part about uh, technical error later on in the playthrough, but I've decided... I think just to go through with it as is. Unless I have another... On one of my other days off, I have... The urge to check other memory cards, but... Eh, not really. No, I don't. At this time. Dark Master, you have the power of both the light... Okay, so he has both the power of the light and the darkness. And why is he just the Dark Master? Shouldn't he just be like Sword Master or something like that? Actually, that's Edge Master from Soul Calibur, so he can't have that title. And he's sending this. the big dumb guy trope to work with him. I love predictable story patterns. There's always like a big, slightly dumb guy. Hey, we have one in Musa. There's always, um, well, the leader, of course, that, uh, so that it's mice on one side, Schmidt on the other. There's, actually, beyond the big dumb guy, the, the, these dark forces here don't really follow coherent tropes, because they all are fairly high damaging, uh, entries. One of them's a psycho, one of them hates humans. One of them is the resident female of the group, and uh, the second in command, and then the uh, the emperor. Psycho really reminds me of the uh, his name is Wire. Really reminds me of the Joker, but we'll get to that when we get to that about halfway through the game. But yes, the uh, random battles will still be skipped. We'll trick. I picked up uh, 
Doing other recordings. Hey, mice, look. It's so beautiful here. So beautiful here. I've never seen such a beautiful place before. This is my first time outside of Boise. Okay. Were you really never left that town before? She just said, well, no, she didn't say she was born in Boysby. All I know is that since I was little, it's always Can't be been too forward there. Why is that the ghost sign, Mice? Like, good timing is important for two things. Dealing with enemies and impressing women. That's true. That's a true statement. Timing is important when fighting and dealing with women. Dealing with all relationships, really. I'll take over Jobble's responsibility. Oh, 90s. You are a fun time. Thank you, Mice. It's very nice of you to say that. Look at this, look at this player go. I guess you didn't need my advice after all. Honesty is good when it comes to... That is also a true statement. Musa isn't that dumb, I guess. He's just the big, strong, charismatic guy. But let's move on. We are entering Hatoba, the beach resort-ish town. But before we do that, we are... Um... Yeah, I didn't know which way was the right way. It's, it's hard in these early PS1 days with graphics. You know? You're like, what's up? But we are going in, but we are stopping here in the buildings along the way to pick up MP. Uh, I don't know when I, as far as my memory goes, as to where some of these things are. Because normally when you go into the houses, it'll be in places that kind of stand out. Like, that's all, the only way I can describe it. Like, see, that bed's different, so it's like, check here. I just see, like, a big red arrow over it, you know? But here, we are going now in, like I was saying, into the town of Fatoba proper. And, uh, it's a place where, like, many RPGs before it and many RPGs that followed, you have to trigger certain dialogue segments in order to advance kind of the plot of the town but we'll talk about that uh, when we get kind of into that a little bit here in a moment we got a few a few storylines going on in here it's a deceptively peaceful town I imagine what like a place like this would look like rendered uh, You're cute. even you with, with PS2 or PS3, Xbox 360 graphics. I don't know, the game doesn't have that big of a following, but... Here, we're meeting somebody early. Of course I like girls. Then would you do anything for a girl? Um... Sure, just say of course. Good. See, even she knows we're lying. You can have this. See you later. this is our party's resident thief character. Thief quote-unquote class character later on. She doesn't have any thief abilities, so she's just a, like a light swordsman type of deal. Anyway, more MP. And we're gonna kind of go around and do that. Man, this neighborhood's gone to hell. What's going on around here? Alright, let's check in the bar. I had to wander around a little bit to start triggering these things, but uh, yeah. Supposed to be an old man, but before we do that, we have to talk to like a guy in the shipyard, and it's just it's a little bit of a mess. All right, let's head down here. All right, ship guy, what do you got for me? Okay, volcanic island. So we have that revealed to us, and let's talk to him again to see if it would. Park somewhere else, go forward, no. Hey, MP, I forgot about the bucket. I don't think it's a good idea to go near the cape. 
Okay, let's go down here, I suppose. Check out here. I kind of, you know, I kind of honestly hate. And then, oh, that's just dating advice. I honestly kind of hate the uh, that the, the trope there, like, like what we're doing now. What I referenced about, you know, other RPGs and stuff, where it's not even a fetch quest, but it's like a fetch information quest. I guess I'm only complaining because of how many times I played through. Like, I know where to go and what to do. I don't want to have to just walk back and forth to do it again, you know? Alright, I talked to the guy at the boat. Let's see if I can talk to the guard again. I think is what I was thinking here. Or what's he have to say? Volcanic Island off the coast. I wonder what it's like. No, we can't trigger the event out there yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, let's talk to him. What do you got? Okay, you got the same thing. Let's go in the bar. Interactive! Don't you love it? What have we got? Have we got the old man yet? No, wait, let's talk to other people. Lighten up, kid. You gotta... Hey, dude, what's happening? Thanks a lot. Alright, I think at this point... I've decided we need to go to, uh... Well, let's talk to Boat Guy one more time. Maybe. And, uh... Yeah. Perhaps those guys can. That's all I say if you're curious, look for an old guy. Okay. Now the prompt has been fulfilled. Now we can go to the bar, deal with the old dude, and kind of move things along. Here we go. I don't walking out, I'm on a tape, I know them all, but I won't tell you for free. You gotta beat me in a chili drinking contest. It's time. It's time for chili. Shootrin, I was known as the man with the iron stomach. I've been known to go by that occasionally. I too can eat uh, very spicy things, no problem. It's funny how many lines from obscure titles that we love or obscure TV shows or especially movies and songs we, uh, repeat in our daily life. Or maybe that's just me, because I like to do that kind of stuff. A real chili drinker until your blood starts boiling. It's a little, uh, like to be chili. And this was, I'm pretty sure this was chili in the <laughs> Japanese release too. I don't think this was a we're changing beer to chili thing. Unless they added that fire effect afterwards, but part of me hopes really hopes that they didn't. Oh, he's just asleep. You're fine. Sob, really. He'll eventually wake up and go home. And I think it's definitely a a beer parallel though maybe it's just like the developer giving like a little wink and a smile to people that'll be like we're not gonna say it but you know what we're saying kind of deal all right now I think we talked to the guy at the entrance to the town okay we're just head back here talk to ship guy again or Okay, we're going to try to get into the pirate area first, which I think also might be part of the trigger, but I just did it just in case. What do you want? You don't belong here. What a pain in the ass. Lock. Okay, well that, that's fulfilled now too. Even let us in. You never say just say, oh well, let's have fun with the ladies. Unless like your plans fall through on a Saturday night. 
grumble, grumble, grumble. That's the official emoticon for grumble, grumble, if you didn't know. Years of anime watching has taught me. <laughs> oh, man. All right, now well, let's... No one's seen any ships. Lee Langood is the name. Okay, so now we know what the place is. The Warrior. Okay, see, now that's known. I think we go over here and... Talk to that guy. The warrior's just been seen out of town, and they're from the Langu. So it's every little thing has been pieced together. And I should go to the hotel. What do you want? I don't have a sword. Oh man, you scared the crap out of me. You're only a child. You can't possibly be the warrior. Disrespect. And he responds as such. Why are you looking at me, man? I was just kidding. So it appears our modus operandi for the next episode will be to go take care of this warrior that's been terrorizing things but we will get to that when we get to it as we slowly head out of town to get to it bye bye